This week on Sport Fishing, we're down the beautiful East Cape, fishing out of Hotel Buena Vista. And fishing with me today is my nephew, Josh. His very first time down here. We're gonna try to find him a billfish, and fishing with me is my dad. And we're out here celebrating. Josh just graduated from high school, and my dad just had his 80th birthday party. So we're down here in the beautiful East Cape, hopefully gonna catch some billfish. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. We just had a short strike on our stinger rod. There's a marlin swimming behind us, so the deck can't just drop back a live bait. So we're gonna see if we can get the marlin to come up. I don't know if he's still out there. You see the marlin still? No? So he came up, he bit the bait, missed it, and we're hoping he's still around. So our, our deck hand Martin here just dropped back a live bait, live mackerel. So we're gonna see if we can get the fish to come back up on it. So first marlin of the day. Always exciting. Let's see if we can get him to come back up and bite. Hit the lures. We just had another marlin come up. He was on the outside lures. I dropped back a live bait and uh, he didn't hit it, but he hit the ballyhoo. He took the ballyhoo and took it off. They put the live bait back up. Just hooked up a marlin. We got Josh on his very first billfish ever. Wine, just wine, wine. Don't stop. Don't worry. Stick. Don't worry. He's gonna come up. Hopefully, he's gonna jump for us soon. How's it feel? He definitely doesn't want to get come caught. In. Yeah. All right. Turn this way a little bit. There you go. Just like that. Okay. Lift the rod up. Let him take your line, that's fine. Okay, walk over this way a little bit. There you go. Okay, now lift the rod up and wind down. Lower the rod, turn the handle. Lift the rod, there you go, just like that. Stop, wind down. Keep winding, keep winding. Keep this right in front of you, there you go. And remember, you gotta move this line back and forth, okay? There you go, keep winding. They're backing the boat down for us a little bit.
Turn the handle when you can. Point the rod up. Point the rod up. Don't don't point it at the fish. Put the rod down here. Yeah, there you go, like that. There you go. Move that line back and forth. Keep the rod up. Okay, we're backing up so you don't have to pump it. Just turn the handle. Just turn the handle. Just like that. Leave the rod like that. There you go. Try, try to keep the rod straight. There you go. Make sure to move that line back and forth. We don't want to ball it all up in one spot. There you go. There you go. Wind, 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 wind. Keep the rod up. Wind. Getting close. There's a lure. There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. You can see the whole fish now. Good job, Josh. Don't jerk it, just lift up nice and strong. Wind down, he's really close. Oh, that's a nice blue mark, a nice striped marlin. Big one. There you go. Hold the line down. Your rear. Hold the line on the There you go. Wind down, wind down one more time. Straight up, straight up. Let him, there you go. There he is. Yeah. Pull out of the rod. He's too big to probably bring in the boat. Oh, he's bringing him up. You get the get the line up and put the rod. There he is. This is the striped marlin that Josh just caught. It's the very first marlin ever. Congratulations. How's it feel, man? Amazing. This is your graduation gift. Congratulations, man. Beautiful the, fish. Beautiful fish. This is a big, big striped marlin. We're going to go ahead and release it right now. Well, we just got that marlin in. We just released it. Josh's very first billfish ever. How's it feel, man? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing? It was a rush. <laughs> yeah. It was a good finish. I had fun. It was a lot of work? A lot of work. Yeah? yeah. What, what's the closest thing you can end? You've done in your life that felt like that. There's all the endurance and the strength and the power. Anything? It's like being on a roller coaster and playing football at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. So this is the lure that he was using. This was a Zucker. And it's a pink color. You wouldn't think that the billfish would want a pink lure, but it did. And it had a double hook rig here. And that's what the fish came up and ate. We had three other bites earlier, two on Ballyhoo and one on another lure, and they all came off. The fourth one was the charm. And Josh got his first fish ever, first billfish ever. And that was really cool. So I'm gonna put the lines back on the water, see if we can get another one. 
while we're doing that and getting ready to catch some more fish, let's take, from the, uh, take a little break from the action here in the beautiful East Cape and go give you a look at Hotel Buena Vista where we're staying at. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice show. Right here is the entrance to the harbor here at La Rivera. And we're starting off our day inside here looking for rooster fish, jacks, slow trolling live bait. So I got bit on a live bait. I don't know if it's a rooster fish or Jack Cravel or what it is. Hopefully it's a rooster. See the gear I'm fishing with today. 65 pound spectra, 40 pound fluorocarbon with a large hook with a live mackerel. Fish is running up this way. Also fishing with us today is Rick. He's from Northern Cal. He had no clue he was going to come fish with me, but uh, we surprised him this morning at breakfast and told him. So he's on the boat with me. So this is the first fish of the day. The Jack Cravel. We saw it a second ago. Still fun to catch. And one of those fish I can't catch at home. It's always fun to catch fish like that here. Get them a little tired, get them to the boat. Right in the corner of the mouth there. Live bait hook, mustad hook. Got it? What do you got, Rick? Oh, you got the trolling camera. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we just made a little move. We were over at La Rivera, a couple miles down. And uh, now what we've done is we've traveled a little bit south over to Lighthouse. Right behind me here is the world famous Lighthouse in the East Cape, you hear lots about. There's two lighthouses in the area, one in Las Arenas, which is about 30, 40 miles to the north. And then this one here for the East Cape region, southern part of the, the East Cape is real famous. So many rooster fish have been caught here over the years. I've caught fish here 60, 80 pounds. And of course, there's always the little ones, 20 pounders here, but we're just gonna slow troll around here, see if we can find us a rooster fish. And then if uh, we don't get anything in about 20, 30 minutes, we'll wind in the lines, we'll head offshore. Uh, one of our missions today is to get Rick his first billfish. This is him right here. 
<laughs> we'll try, Dan. That's what we're hoping. For. Yeah. So he's from Northern Cal. First time down here at the East Cape. And uh, yesterday he did good. He caught a bunch of fish, but he didn't get a billfish. And hopefully today we're going to put him on a billfish. So don't know if it's going to be a striper or a sailfish, blue marlin. They all live down here. Uh, did really good yesterday. Let's see what happens today. And yesterday you robbed the short horn the Um, Actually, this is the same area right here. This close? Yeah, yeah, we were this close most of the time. Let's see what we do today. marlin going on right now. Rick's on it. It ate the outside outrigger. It's his first marlin ever. We have another one on the surface. So I got a bait back here. See if he comes back. I'm just going to keep this bait out today. There you go. Make sure you move the line back and forth. You got to move the line back and forth. There you go. Rick's very first marlin ever. Congratulations. Thank you, Dan. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and let him go. Okay. Let's let him go. Let him go. Okay. Let him go. Okay. 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 All right. All Thank right you, now. Dan. The second one I have on here, I got him on a live bait. We saw the second fish come up while uh, Rick was fighting that fish. I dropped back a live bait, and the fish finally came up and ate it. All right, let's see if I can get this one up. Yeah! Yeah! It's right there on the surface. There he is. Come on, jump. I like it when they turn fluorescent like that. Here's a marlin I just caught. We got a double there. Rick got that one on trolling lure. This one I got to buy at a live bait right behind the boat. Beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and release it. And when we come back, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Okay. Vamanos. There he goes.
this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you not so much about how we caught the fish. It was pretty simple fishing. We got some on trolling lures, and the rest of them we got on live bait. And it was a lot of fun fishing down here. I always enjoy coming down to the East Cape. What I want to talk to you about is if you haven't fished down in Mexico, don't be afraid to make that trip. And uh, it's part of the adventure of coming down here. You never know exactly what you're going to catch. But every time I come to East Cape, it's always memorable. You know, there's a phrase about uh, it's not about the number of days lived. It's about life is about the number of days remembered. And every trip that I've had to East Cape is a day I always remember. You know, today I caught some marlin. I've caught lots of marlin in 35 years I've been coming down here. But it was still a different experience. I got that one on a dead bait on the surface, tricked him enough to get it to bite it. And that's one of those memories I'll always remember. Well, I want to thank the Valdez family for hosting us here at Hotel Buena Vista. We always enjoy coming here. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.